All right, guys, a little bit different style of video. It's all gonna be voiced over. If you don't wanna listen to my beautiful voice, mute it, but you have to check out the scale of the Desert 100. The Desert 100 is a race <laughs> that's in the desert. I believe the 100 stands for a 100 mile race. I didn't do the race. I only did like the poker run. I, I hung out, but all these trailers, all from the Northwest, people come from miles and miles away bring their trailer, bring their family, bring their dirt bikes. And this is only day one, so this was Friday. So this is probably only about two thirds of the trailers that eventually show up here, here in the next scene. But I'm sitting in my trailer right now as I'm piloting this drone and I'm like following people from a mile away, which is just crazy to me. I'm all warm and stuff in my trailer. Um, but I wanna show off the scale of this event. Maybe you have been to other like big events, you know, big concerts and stuff like that, like that the scale of everything that I'm about to show you doesn't impress you. But this is day two. The weather wasn't as good. But look at the amount of trailers, the amount of, of people that are hanging out here. There's actually a total of, of I believe, of people that did the race, I think 5,000 bikes did the actual 100. And, and that's the other part I want to show you, like it. Like I said, it might not be impressive to you, but to me, look at, so this is where everybody goes the morning of the race. It's like the, the, the riders meeting. Look at all these riders. It is just insane how many dirt bikes come into one spot. I actually saw here coming up, there's a clip where everybody starts heading to the starting line, which the starting line is insane. Like it's just the scale of this thing is just wild. But I actually see more crashes during this, this, heading to the starting line than we do during the actual race typically this race is is it's not dusty it's not really hot but this year i guess was like one of the, the warmer years and the dustier years so usually it's it's muddy and stuff so so people there's lots of people that are hauling trying to win this race um, and lots of crashes but since it was so dusty the first handful of riders during the actual ride kicked up so much dust that all the riders behind couldn't haul ass. And that's where you get a lot of like big crashes. So we actually didn't see that there weren't any big crashes during the start. And that's what this race is known for is these, these big monster crashes. But the scale of how many people, like this right here, 5,000 sounds a lot better, but I think it's actually like 4,500 riders signed up. But then they're gonna head to the starting line and they're all gonna get in one single line across the desert. And, and the footage is coming up, but it is, <laughs> I, I and I've I've been to the Desert 100 before. I haven't stayed there. I just came for the, I just came for the the, the poker run. But here's actually a quick thought. This guy crashes, drops something, and everybody's going slow and stuff during heading to the starting line. But he drops something, but it just looks like chaos. All these riders buzzing by. It's like a stampede of bikes. It's kind of crazy. Um, but I've been to the Desert 100, done the did the poker run like when I first started riding dirt bikes like 10 years ago. Um, but I don't even remember the setup. I don't remember seeing all the trailers. Now with drone technology, you know, seven, 10 years later, like you can actually get perspective of how many people do this. And be careful watching this scene. I was, I was watching the scene of these, like going head on with the bikers and me and Rachel both started getting some motion sickness. So if you start feeling a little funky, look away. But, but this is probably, I've probably only passed over about a quarter of the pack. Once I turn this corner coming up, um, you'll see just the amount of people, the amount of fuel in these bikes, the amount of helmet, the amount of gear. I mean, everybody's setup is probably, you know, seven to 10 grand worth of stuff times 4,500 bucks. I mean, it's, it's crazy how much money I'm flying by. I almost hit that drone right there. It's crazy how much money we're flying by right here. Look at all these people. It's just insane to me. And all these people are going to line up in one single file line across the desert at the starting line. I actually think they do two waves, but um, to say it's all on one wave sounds way better, you know? Um, but here we go, we're going down the line. So you have to actually sprint to your bike. So you, I, I don't know the distance, but all the bikes are there on the left. The riders get off and they're all set up on the right. So that kind of sucks because you got to sprint to your stuff and you're already sucking wind. But look how far this line of bikes go. It just blows my mind. You know, people, I've always heard people talk about the Desert 100 and, and everything involved, but, you know, they're like, oh, all these bikes line up. You're like, oh, yeah, whatever. It doesn't sound like, oh, you're exaggerating. But there literally is thousands and thousands of bikes that line up. Um, and it's actually 
this scene is more impressive than <laughs> I actually missed the start of the race and my drone didn't record when it actually started but nothing cool happened no big crashes but I did get after the fact when there was like a big dust cloud of riders ripping through but um, I, ho I hope you guys think this is cool cool as me it was, I, I hope that you guys think this is as cool as I do it's crazy that people can just come from all over and you know just in this line alone there's probably you know probably representation from every single state in the US I would guess um, but the race started look at this massive dust cloud they're putting it up I kind of sped up the footage it's really not that cool I couldn't even get down low to kind of see what was going on I'm sitting here trying to dodge multiple drones I don't understand because people always get very injured during this race and they have a helicopter that cruises around but they they didn't have a no drone policy which was kind of interesting because um, we probably saw 20 drones out in the sky at once filming all this stuff but uh, but yeah there's that the desert 100 it's in the desert 100 miles and um, I hope you guys appreciate the perspective of the video as much as I do because it is just gnarly how many people get out in the middle of nowhere to ride their dirt bikes, drink some beer, hang out with family. It's like the first event after winter's over. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. <laughs> Love you.